you guys have given me an idea. So yesterday we started our uh, niche let's play of the new 1.1 update. And as you can see, we're in that here again. There's lots of those annoying coconut trees that drop coconuts on your head anyway. <laughs> um, but you can also see, and ooh, these guys are in a little bit of a tricky spot. They're actually going to have to swim to get to the land. Uh, but you can see we have a new family here. And one of the questions I was getting, because uh, we've played niche on this channel for a while, but every time there's a new update, we tend to get some new viewers. And one of the questions a lot of you guys were asking was, well, why is there so much inbreeding? Why, why are, is there so much inbreeding? And that's because in niche, we work with a limited population. So we're working with a very select group of creatures that oftentimes don't have access to others of their own kind. So in most cases, inbreeding is necessary but the fact that you guys are bringing that up actually gave me an interesting idea. Is it possible to play niche without inbreeding? And now we're not going to be able to do that perfectly, probably, because, of course, with any wild population, you never know which of the wild animals might be related to each other. But for all intents and purposes, we're going to try and have a population with no inbreeding that relies pretty much on loners coming in to provide... Uh, provide new new blood, new genes to the tribe, and we're going to try and see if we can make it without inbreeding at all and how far we can get. Now, I've never done this before. I have no idea how it's going to work out, and I don't intend to force this rule in our normal Let's Plays because that's not how we, we normally play the game. Normally, we're focused on genetics. This is going to be a little bit more random. There's going to be less chance to breed for specific genetics, and it's probably going to also have us working with smaller tribes. So we're starting on, I think this is the Peaceful Meadow Island again. And I just kind of want to see how this works. So with that said, we're going to go ahead and jump right in. It looks like we have Dakuna, who has some nice digger paws. And Rana, who has velvet paws, which is not so nice. She actually has the antenna, so we might actually get to see that in action. Does he? He does not. He just has double ram horns. So she has short-sighted eyes. I'm going to work on getting rid of those. We are going to have a lot less control over genetics this way, so it'll be kind of interesting to see how possible this might even be. Uh, let's go ahead and also put in normal paws because I have a feeling that's going to be one of the... The, the, pa the normal paws give you quite a lot of different traits, just not very much of each of them. And so I have a feeling it's going to be important to be able to do a variety of different things. Uh, we'll have to see how it works out, though. So I'm not going to give him normal paws because I do like... Or we'll put one normal paw in. I do like having the digger paw. And we can use the mutation menu. But that doesn't always end up working. Oh, I should have had... Here, oh, the fish are gone now. <laughs> I should have had him try and catch one, although I don't think he would have succeeded. So we gotta get these guys to the mainland. And for now, oh, he has a cracker jaw. So we should be able to gather and then I'll send her this way. He can come over here, gather that, and then come up here. So we'll get these guys over here. And so we can breed them, but we won't be able to breed their descendants. That's right under the coconut tree. And so we probably don't want to be right there. Let's get you up here. And are there any berry bushes? There is a berry bush right here. Is this a good berry bush? It is. All right, let me turn my audio down again. For whatever reason, the rain sound is just like ridiculously loud. Okay, and there's a lot of roots around here too. So that'll be good. We can have him come over here. We can dig. Um, there's another one over there. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to breed them first, and we'll have him start moving this way. We gotta find, um, we've gotta find or build a nest, and so let's see. I'm gonna have her. We'll just have her nest here. I'm gonna start clearing some of this grass away as well, and we'll start a new day. We've got an acorn tree up here, and so these babies now. We'll have to find loners as mates or not breed. Oh, and speaking of loners, you'd better join the tribe, my friend, because we are going to need your help. So she has nimble fingers and digger paw, which is going to be really nice. She does, however, have blind eyes, and so we want to get those out as soon as possible. And she's got those nasty frog feet. She's got really bad fertility, and she also has hemophilia. She also has the beak. 
That's kind of interesting. That gives collecting. Ooh, okay. She's got heat body and spiky body. She's got some interesting traits. I'm going to try and breed out the, uh, the flipper feet that we don't like. And we'll probably end up having her breed with Tauduk. And so there's always a chance, because sometimes I do get a little bit mixed up in my playthroughs here. There's always a chance that we might mess up and end up breeding the wrong creatures together. If that happens and we realize it, then we'll just make sure that we either release those creatures or don't breed them at all. So that's how we'll handle that. Okay, let's have Tauduk come up here. Do they have good immunity genes? They do, that's good. All right, so I'm gonna put these guys on orange and we do have a female and a male. I mixed that up last time um, and I'm gonna be more careful this time. And let's see, oh, we could have you come up here and gather some of these acorns and you can kind of just stay here, I think, and gather some more so we're going to explore around a little bit. We're probably not going to breed a huge amount, although we do want to try and have a lot of diversity if we can. Okay. And a lot... Also, we have been catching bugs and glitches, but a lot of those bugs and glitches are ones that the, the niche team has said they're going to try and fix as soon as they can. So hopefully on Friday we'll have a patch that will come out, or at least that's what they're, they're estimating. So let's see. Let's mark you with another orange one. So we have BD, BC... BC. So we have... We probably want to try and keep that A gene in there. So we ought to be a little bit careful. And let's have you try and gather a little bit from there. And then you can dig and come over here and dig. There is another berry bush as well. So let's go ahead and start a new day again. And I don't know why the rain is so, so stinking loud. Oh yeah. And the twins tend to merge. So if we end up breeding them, we're going to pick one, probably, because I do want to keep a few creatures around of each kind, but with that said, um, we do need to be careful to not inbreed. So these guys, oh, there's a nest. Okay, let's get her, you can sit over here. There's a bunny burrow too, because these guys will end up breeding, and we've got a male, who has who has A and C. Okay, so I'm going to stop breeding these guys. We'll put them on yellow omega here. And they are going to become gatherers. And what we'll do is we'll destroy this nest. I'll have you sit here and we'll gather from here. You will also be a gatherer. And that's this is going to help us minimize inbreeding. So let's see. We've got Taduk who has B and D. And Rovan who has A and C. So Rovan is probably going to be our other breeding creature. Now, the thing I'm not so sure about, actually, let's put you here, and we'll put you up here. The one thing I'm not so sure about is with these guys, we'll have them start gathering for now. It's going to depend on if we find any potential mates for them or not, if they're going to end up being breeding creatures as well. Uh, we're really relying quite a lot on, uh, on luck, it seems here. So let's go ahead and we'll gather from here. We'll breed these guys. You can continue to gather here and to watch over little Rovan. And we'll keep gathering from this tree. I'm going to move you over here. And there's a rock too. So let's have you gather. And basically any creatures we find, we're going to have to try and accept into the tribe. Because we're going to need to have as many new genes as possible. Oh good. Alright, let's shake the tree. And we can gather quite a lot here. We have, okay, we've got, it looks like a cracker jaw here. And let's move you off the nest. We can breed again and then we'll gather. Corey has E and D. So we want to try and get as many new genes as we can. But this is where things are going to get tricky because Corey can't breed with any of these guys. We'll have to find another mate for her. And so we want to have as much genetic diversity as possible. She did get the beak secondary, but she also got blind eyes, which is not great. We really need to make sure we use the mutation menu with any of these creatures. And she actually got decent genes other than that. Um, she got the... She does have hemophilia and she does have low fertility, but other than that, she got some pretty decent genes. Uh, so she's okay. And um, Rovan is going to kind of explore off this way, I think. 
and we'll have you continue to gather here. Let's start a new day. And there we go. Oh, hey, you are stealing from us. Hey, all right, we got to be careful of that. Let's move you out. We'll gather from here. Where is another bunny stealing? Is it right over here? Probably. Okay, let's have you gather here. You can try and kill the bunny. <laughs> She's not even strong enough to kill the bunny. Oh my goodness. Okay. Um, oh, we do need we did need to breed them again. That bunny is watching very and oh, and he's stealing again. I was gonna say he's just watching us, but he's basically just sitting there taunting us at this point. Um let's start a new day. One more hit should take him down. So let's there we go, got the bunny. And we can start gathering off here again. You can keep gathering here. We should always check for roots, too. Oh, there is another berry bush over here. You can keep gathering off of this one. And we have little Raisla, Re who also has some decent genes. She actually got better eyesight and no hemophilia. So she does have the flipper feet. We'll try and breed those out. But for the most part, I think we've got some pretty good genes here. So we don't... What is happening? Oh, it's probably that one, isn't it? All right, let's have this drop some more acorns. And we want to be careful not to outbreed, basically. We don't want to... Will you stop that bunny? Okay, so she's going to pass on anyway. So these will be her legacy. We're going to mark them both with orange. And I'm going to try and keep this as a as simplistic as possible so Taduk now will not be breeding anymore because we don't want him to end up having any creatures who could have a chance of inbreeding and uh, so we're basically going to have to switch our creatures off of being breeding creatures as soon as we get the chance and she has now passed on let's so help me these bunnies are like the most annoying thing I've ever seen we also need to try and keep our population kind of low so that we have loner spawning. Hello. <gasps> she has the beak. Oh my goodness. I haven't actually seen a creature with a beak before. And she's got, oh man, she's got excellent genes except for fertility. Okay. She doesn't have good eyesight, so I'm going to prioritize that. We can't do anything about her hemophilia or low fertility, I'm afraid. Um... Oh, gosh. And she can't breed with any of them, but can she breed? No, she can't. Oh, no. Okay, so... AG, we might have to breed her with Taduk. I think we're actually going to put Taduk here. So we'll put him back on orange. And I think we'll try breeding these guys as well, because she's got some really good genes that I would like to preserve, if possible. Oh, man. Oh, and she didn't end up actually getting pregnant. <laughs> oh, no. This is why this is going to be a challenge, you guys. So I'm going to try and monitor as best as I can, because um, we're going to try we're going to try our absolute best to avoid inbreeding at all this time, if we possibly can. These guys are probably getting pretty old too. They are. They're starting to get a lot older. Let's gather off of these. You can keep moving. Where is this bunny stealing from? Is it right here? I think it might have been right there. Okay. Let's breathe these guys again if we can. Oh, man. Oh, this is not good. Okay. I don't know where these bunnies are stealing from. Okay, you're going to sit here, I think, and be ready to gather from this area. Let's shake the tree here and gather some of this grass as well so that we can actually see what we're doing. Um, whenever we have the chance, we should gather grass. And we've got to keep breeding these guys. Okay, come on. There we go. Did... Okay. Ah, we keep not actually killing the bunnies, too, which is really bad. Alright. I don't know where they're stealing from! Is there... Oh, there's one up there! Okay, let's have you go up here. And if those bunnies come back... Oh, and you can start moving this way. Because I think... Oh, yeah, there's more bunnies over here. And there's a mole. Oh, no, the mole's gonna see him. Darn it! All right, I moved too close without thinking about it. Okay. Um, and he's going to pass away pretty soon. Um, 
and we'll probably start making our way towards this island, I think. So we'll see. We'll see how this goes. All right. Come on. There we go. Finally, finally, finally. Okay. Let's have... You can actually gather. Okay, fine. Okay. that That's great. All right. Let's have you... You can come up and gather some of these. And she's actually going to pass away next turn. You can keep gathering from here. We have to maintain as much genetic diversity as we can. Because if and when new creatures arrive... We want to be able to have creatures that can breed with them without getting sick. Is there like a... There's a berry bush right there. That's what's going on. Okay. Alright. Uh, let's go ahead and we'll start a new day. I'm hoping this line will do really well. Okay. Can we kill the bunny? We can now... Oh! Hey! No! Pardon me! That's our berry bush. Alright. And we have Von Von Von... Who has really terrible genetics. I'm sorry. You need... You're, you need better eyesight. Um... Did you... You... Oh, I didn't put in better eyesight for him. We never set his mutation menu. Darn it. Okay. Um... I think that's pretty much all of it. Okay. We'll have him dig... No, we'll have you dig here. And let's have you step out of the nest. We'll start trying to breed. Oh, good. Okay. Um, and we were able to. Is there any dig spots around here? I should just be smelling for them instead of doing this, but oh, oh well. <laughs> Alright, and... Is there anything around here that could be important for you? Oh, there is a dig spot here. Alright, let's go ahead and start a new day. Alright, oh good, okay. Okay. And she actually is pregnant. Oh my goodness. No. There we go. Let's move you out. You can sit here. And then... Uh, I don't know where all of this is happening. Okay. Let's gather these acorns. Oh, it's right up here, isn't it? There was like a berry bush. Oh, right over here was the bunny. Okay, there we go. We killed the bunny, so that's good. Alright, and we'll gather from there. Man, there's so much going on here. Okay. We do need to get somebody up to that other uh, berry bush up there. Alright, let's gather from here. Oh, who's sick? Who's sick? I heard someone sick. Oh, I think it's probably... It may be another creature. Actually, let's... What am I doing? I should have you move over. Oh, oh, oh! Oh my goodness! Okay. There's another creature. Von Von, he's sick. Um... Does he have any good genes? No, he really doesn't. Okay, you are going to finish taking those so he doesn't steal all of them. Alright, let's see. Do you have better genes? No, you also got that awful short-sightedness. Okay. Um, man. Alright, let's keep trying to breed these guys. There we go. We can gather from here. Hopefully he won't get any of our creatures sick. I'm a little worried he will if he gets too close. I don't want him spreading that sickness here. Uh, is there anything more you can gather? You can make your way over here. Alright, let's start a new day. And I think he should be able... <gasps> oh, he's under the coconut tree. Okay, we gotta, we gotta hurry and get him out of there. So that he won't get clonked in the head by a coconut. And some of you guys weren't sure if he was supposed to be... No. Excuse me, this is our food. Some of you guys, we're going to actually attack him because some of you guys weren't sure. Hey! Oh, he took our food. Okay. Some of you guys weren't sure if, um... No! He's just stealing all of the food. My goodness. Oh, I don't know why he's so aggressive like that. Does he have the nimble fingers too? He does have nimble fingers. Great. Uh, that's not what we want to see. Okay, let's... Okay, we did manage to breed them. Uh, but we are going to start working on... Stop hanging out by our creatures, please. You're going to get them sick. Alright, let's, uh... Let's keep going here. I'm starting to get a little flustered. Did he... He didn't make her sick. Okay, good. Um, you can gather here. You can gather here. Get out of here. No. Get... Oh my goodness, and the bunnies are stealing from us now. No! Oh, I really want him to go away. 
I really want him to go away. We're gonna smack him a couple of times. I'm gonna dig because I don't want him trying to dig that up. So, okay, this guy, I'm gonna put him on Omega non-breeding. I should be marking all of our creatures here as Omega non-breeding because these guys are gonna be ones that we won't end up breeding because they have really bad genes and that's just gonna lead into a downward spiral. But Sela also has terrible genes. Oh no, Sela, I'm so sorry. This is why, you guys, this is why inbreeding tends to happen quite a lot because it's really hard to make it through without inbreeding at all. Okay, there's nothing else we can do over there. So we've successfully swapped those guys out. Let's have you sit over here. I'm going to start breeding them more frequently because I want them to have their good genes pass through. Alright, that would probably be uh, the loner we have been chasing who is injured. Um, and he may have actually passed away, I'm not sure. But uh, hopefully he won't continue to bother us because he's been sick and I don't want that spreading. Oh good, okay, Remy. Remy is, or Remy, Remy, okay. Remy is going to be a potential breeding creature. Uh, let's move Sela over this way. Nope, he's not. Okay, let's breed... And you, all right, we probably need to keep after him because I don't want, I don't want him to cause us more problems. So let's shake the tree. We got lots we can gather over here. Um, I'm actually going to send her off this way and we'll kill that bunny. And then he's probably going to try and steal that. So we've got to grab that meat really quickly here. All right, let's gather twice and then once. Oh, he can dig up this root here. And... All right, there we go. We'll have use... Rime is good, so I'm going to mark her with orange because that's the lineage she's of. And then Taro is okay. Taro's also not bad. We want to have enough creatures to have a successful... Uh, to, we want to, basically, we want to have as many creatures that have good genes as we possibly can, because the more creatures that we have that have good genes, the better the chance that we'll be able to breed with a passing loner without having, um, without having issues due to, uh, immunity genes. So we want to have our creatures be as diverse as possible. Alright, here we go. Let's go ahead and, oop, Kore, let's have you crack these acorns here. And it is about time to wrap up the episode. So we're going to go ahead and do that. We'll, we'll, the way we'll probably survive through this is by having a main breeding line. But of course, any creature could breed with a loner that happened to come by if we needed them to. So for now, I think we're going to go ahead and end off this episode, though. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this interesting little experiment in genetics and finding out if it actually is possible to play niche without having to inbreed. Um... And uh, don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time. But until then, this is Jay, over and out.